Hi guys, it's me Quinn, and as always, if you appreciate my content, consider hitting the like button. It's the only way the YouTube algorithm really notices me. So Dune seemed to have totally been the success that Warner Brothers wanted. It made enough money at the box office, it's approaching $300 million. Um, it was successful on HBO Max, and critically, people loved it, and part two has already been greenlit. But there is one other thing that I was thinking about, and I've been talking about, that I don't know if other people have been talking about, is that what happens when Dune blows up, and it's the next big thing. Everyone wants to make their own Dune. It happened with Game of Thrones, it happened with Lord of the Rings, and now it's happening with science fiction with Dune, because Hyperion is being adapted. Now, if you don't know, Hyperion by Dan Simmons is one of the best science fiction books that I personally have ever read. The Fall of Hyperion, the follow-up book, is also really good. There's two extra books, Endymion and Rise of Endymion. They're a little bit different, but still pretty good, I would say. But Hyperion itself is a phenomenal science fiction book. And the world that appears in the science fiction book is just weird and expansive and definitely a bit Dune-inspired. And I've just been really excited to cover it on my channel over the last few years. Now it's official, Hyperion is being adapted and it's moving forward. Now if you didn't know, the rights to Hyperion were actually in the hands of Sci-Fi, the Sci-Fi channel for a while, which like was kind of like, oh my god, they will not make a good Hyperion. Like the Sci-Fi channel maybe like 20 years ago when the Dune miniseries came out and then the Children of Dune miniseries came out, they could have maybe thought about making a Hyperion miniseries, but even probably not even then. Certainly not now. But the rights have actually moved from TV Sci-Fi Channel to Warner Brothers. And Oscar winner Graham King is attached to produce this movie. Also, Bradley Cooper is also attached to this film to some degree uh, because the film is launching under his new production banner, which is associated with Warner Brothers. I don't know how all of this business stuff works. But Bradley Cooper is also somehow attached to this movie, but he won't be in the movie or really like producing it on any real level, but he is attached to it. Now, Emmy winner Tom Spezzley is also attached to this production. He is known for the Watchmen show on HBO, which was pretty good, except for like right at the end, in my opinion, which, you know, is more David Lindelof's fault because Lost, obviously. It has also been announced that Haley King will executive produce this adaptation. Now, it is very, 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 very early on, of course. It has not been stated whether or not this will be a show or a miniseries or a movie. If I had to put my two cents in, I would say definitely go the show route. Definitely, 100%, please do a show. Uh, do not make this into a movie. Put this on HBO Max as a 10 episode thing for season one. And then you can do 10 more episodes for book two and then maybe do continue into the other ones but the structure of Hyperion especially that first book lends itself so well so well to a series because you have all of these characters coming together and interacting with each other and telling stories about how they got up into that point so each chapter is kind of like a retelling of like that person's past up into that point and I think that would really lend itself to a TV show where you can really have time to sit with these characters and sit with the world because if we put this into a movie we try to cram this all into a movie the giant Hyperion series it's not gonna go well it's not gonna go well I know that when something like Dune is successful like the temptation is like let's do it exactly like they did it let's do a big part one and then do a part two maybe a part three it's no Hyperion we already have the format that works best for this type of story it's a miniseries or a TV show so that is just my two cents. Other than that, I am so, so, so freaking excited for the Hyperion TV show. I'll be excited if it turns out to be a movie too. I just would be a little bit more worried about it, like how they're going to squeeze all of that into just one movie because there's so much to it and you learn so much about the world through each of these characters' stories and you learn so much about like the hegemony of man. And then there are the sentient AI and the Technocore that have their own society and we don't know what they're up to. So there's just a lot of really, really interesting things in the Hyperion series that we need to sp spend time in. And if it's a movie, they're just gonna blow right past them. So like, give me that TV show, let's like slow it down a bit. And I'm so excited. 
And if you are not at all familiar with Hyperion, check out my Hyperion Explained in 5 Minutes video. I also have countless other videos on Hyperion um, explaining various aspects of the lore and their society, kind of like I have with Dune and Foundation and various other series on this channel. You guys know the drill. So this is exciting. I hope everybody's ready for the new Hyperion thing that's coming. And make sure you like and subscribe for more Quinn's ideas. Peace, guys.